the truth or fake. Catalina Marchand Deobre at the Big Board. Good evening to you. Some users are sharing viral images that allegedly show pro Palestinian student protesters injured by rubber bullets in the US of A. Tell us more. These are the graphic images that are circulating on uh, social media where users claim, and I quote, uh, these are the Zionist backed American police currently using rubber bullets against innocent student protesters in support of a Palestine. Let's take a closer look at the images that are being shared uh, where we see allegedly uh, pro-Palestinian student protesters in the U.S. who have sustained uh, what seems to be serious injuries after being struck by rubber bullets uh, fired by the U.S. riot police. We also see uh, amongst the bunch uh, this munition picture allegedly the rubber bullets that were used during these U.S. university protests according to these claims. Mark. So, it looks pretty nasty stuff. What do the images actually show, though, Catalina? Tell us more. We uh, found that these claims are actually misleading, and at least two of these photos are not even recent. Uh, let's take a look at the first photo, the one of this uh, woman. According to USA uh, Today, uh, this photo actually dates back to 2003 in Oakland, uh, California, uh, during protests against the Iraq war, where police uh, did use rubber bullets against uh, protesters. As for the second image of uh, the munition, you can find it in the Alamy photo bank uh, from 2021. One, uh, these uh, bullets, these are rubber and plastic bullets that are actually on display in a museum in uh, Belfast where rubber bullets uh, were first used against rioters uh, by uh, the British Army in the 70s. As for uh, the third image uh, shared, uh, this is where it gets a bit more complicated. Uh, this, uh, the original photo was posted uh, on X some uh, days ago. Uh, this is the original tweet that was apparently uh, brought down uh, by X for whatever reason with the caption that reads it. That was me, uh, Free Palestine. This photo is being widely shared uh, on Twitter by users that claim that this is a student protester from uh, UCLA uh, that was shot in the head by the police with rubber bullets. However, as you can see in his uh, post, we'll bring another one up, he remains uh, very vague and ambiguous and does not state or confirm uh, when, where, or how this incident happened. Uh, hence, for now, we cannot confirm, uh, we cannot independently confirm the identity of this man, whether or not he's a student at UCLA, or where, how, or when these incidents took place. Sir, if you're watching, come forward and help us clarify. <laughs> Reports, though, Catalina, do confirm that the Los Angeles Police Department used rubber bullets to disperse student protesters at UCLA. That's right. Even though the LA Times cite an LAPD captain who says, uh, quote, that police officers did not fire rubber bullets or less lethal rounds during the clearing of the encampment, most media actually report the contrary. Here are some examples, just to name a few. CNN, uh, Sky News, uh, The Daily Beast, uh, all reporting that LA riot police uh, fired rubber bullets at pro-Palestinian protesters. At UCLA, uh, student activists for Palestine at UCLA actually uh, put this on X. They say at least five people were shot in the head with rubber bullets. Uh, proof of that perhaps in this video that was also published by CNN. Uh, here was originally published on X by an investigative reporter uh, where we see what appears uh, the police holding and using rubber bullets against uh, protesters at UCLA. And not only UCLA, it it also seems that police in uh, Georgia have allegedly used rubber bullets and tear gas against protesters in campus at Emory University. Uh, so wide use of what is categorized as less lethal weapons, that is anything but non-lethal. It's actually uh, been known uh, to kill. This is the case of uh, Victoria Snellgrove in 2004 who died from a brain injury from uh, a rubber bullet after a police officer shot her in the eye uh, during sports commemorations in uh, Boston. So dangerous weapons that seem to have no place in university campuses as, as Amnesty International reports uh, that thousands have injured, been injured by the misuse, police misuse, very important uh, word there of rubber bullets. Mark. So the proof is all there in the mainstream media. The videos show that. What I don't understand is why people 
create these posts lying and showing false images to try to make their point. It kind of makes no sense when the information is actually out there to be seen and taken in. Catalina, thank you very much indeed for Truth or Fake. That's it for this uh, Slice of World Roundup. Stay with us, more to come. Sao Paulo.